Welcome to CE Pro TV. I'm Jason Knott with CE Pro Magazine, and we're here in the Sencor booth talking about processing and calibration. I'm here with Joel Silver, president of Imaging Science Foundation. Welcome, Joel. Good morning. Welcome to yourself. Tell us about some of the challenges that dealers face out there in getting systems calibrated. Well, permit me to redefine the question. A few years ago, I would have said challenges. Now let's call them objectives. The objective is relatively simple. We want to match the television's picture to the display standards that the content was mastered in. So if something's mastered in EBU or SMPTE or HDTV or Adobe, we've now got the tools to let the picture be on the screen the way the content creators designed it to be on the screen. So we're actually seeing the picture the way it was intended to be seen. So these are wonderful days for calibrators and the manufacturers have really stepped up to the plate and given us tools to make it happen. Now the challenge actually is to train your dealers to do it right. We've got the tools, that's now done. And it's how, do they get, how do they get that training? Uh, we run training sessions from Guangzhou, China, to Beijing, to Australia, to New York City. Uh, we do about 25 trainings a year around the world, so that training is readily available. The folks here at Sencor are helping us put dealers and our trainers together. Uh, they also supply the gear and the software that you'll talk about during this interview as well to take the hard work out of this so the challenges now become objectives. Would you say calibration in general, a lot of dealers uh, they really don't take advantage of what they can do there from a recurring revenue and maintenance contract standpoint with, with the dealer and going back and calibrating and getting some recurring revenue from these? Well, you've just defined our challenge. Our challenge is to get more of the dealers to use the features in the sets they've actually paid for. We've got about 17 manufacturers engineering televisions to be calibrated. So when someone buys a set with calibration features and doesn't deploy them for the customer, we see that as a loss of value to the end user. So yes, the challenge is to get more of the dealers to do it. We've got over 5,000 people calibrating on a daily basis, so we've made a small inroad into this marketplace, but we still have a lot of work to do to get most of the CD dealers to give the customers the value out of the purchases they've made. Great information. Calibration's a really, uh, what I say, overlooked area that a lot of dealers can get into. Thanks, Joel, very Thank much. Hi, we're here with Jim Peterson, president of Lumagen. We're talking about some processing. Jim, tell us, what are some of the things, that, some of the tools available for dealers out there to use to correct some of the deficiencies in processing today? Well, at Lumagen, we're partnering with Sencor to provide hardware to give the capability to do proper calibration. This is not available generally in displays, and what Lumagen does is provide hardware that goes beyond what others can do to get you more to what the director intended in your video experience. So we provide not only uh, setup calibration for geometry, anamorphic lenses and stuff, but one of the, the key features we have is calibration of color to match the REC 709 standards. Uh, we have not only 11 point parametric grayscale, but we have color, color and hue offsets so we can actually deal with some color decoder errors that are prevalent in common displays. But one of our premier features is the color management system that allows you to using a linear gamma RGB color palette independently calibrate primaries and secondary colors. What people will note is if they look at the actual primaries and secondaries provided by the displays today, the digital displays, whether it be a flat panel or a projector, is the colors are way outside the symmetry range. Now that's actually an error. It's not an advantage. It's actually an error because REC 709 defines what the color should be. So what the Radiant series of processors does is we provide a way to manage that color space back to where it's supposed to be and match REC 709. And that is a feature that's not available in other consumer level products using the, the, the quality and the RGB uh, space that, where you can really get linear performance throughout the, the color gamut. A lot of integrators, when they're dealing or talking about processing with their customers, they think they're about jaggies and those sorts of things, but color really seems to be an overlooked aspect to the processing. How do they, how do they involve that discussion or get involved in a demo discussion, perhaps, with the dealer on that? Well, I think the best way to say is, do you want to see the video as the director intended? And I, don't, I think the answer to that has got to be a, an absolute yes. People do want to see it. They just don't understand that what they're watching on their television, it looks like a television because it's not correct. It's not because it's a television. Televisions can be calibrated so they look correct, which would mean that they would look more like a film source. And so that what we're trying to do is train the dealers to, to present it to the, the customers as this is the way it is supposed to be seen. Wouldn't you like to see it that way? Give me a quick sense of how you think that demo would take place. Do they need to have 
one non-calibrated set next to a calibrated one? What, what would be a great demo technique for this? Well, in, in the Radiance, we actually have multiple memories. So what we actually suggest is one easy way to do that is just to have one memory not calibrated for color and the other memory calibrated for color, and that is a, a good demo. So we actually have three levels, you know, without the Radiance, and then we add, in the Radiance, we add our diagonal filtering, our noise reduction, edge enhancements, Illumigen's proprietary no-ring scaling, that's a next level up in quality, and then the premier quality level is let's calibrate the image and show it to you calibrated. Things like grass go from looking what we call neon grass to correct looking green grass or vivid reds become you know, very, very easy to see. You can go see subtle things like moss on some stone or something else will start to pop out at you, which you couldn't even see before the calibration. All right, one last thing. Give me one quick, great demo media for this. What would be a good, good thing to do? Ball game, uh, a particular movie, a particular scene, anything that come um, to mind? I, I think find a scene that the dealer really can look at has rich colors. That is key. Rich colors, um, something with a natural image, green for grass or for foliage, or vivid red. Some of the, the period pieces have a lot of vivid colors in them, so that would be a, a good demo for this. Thanks very much, Jim. Thanks for the great information on processing. Thanks, Jason. Hi, we're here with L.A. Heberlein, Vice President of SpectraCal. We're talking about processing. Tell us what are some particular tools that integrators might be able to use to help processing television sets. Well, there's been a lot of work done recently to try to make the process much more powerful and automated for the calibrator. Uh, Color Pro by Calman, which uh, was just uh, released by Sencor recently, makes a lot of the adjustments much more visual and intuitive rather than being uh, mathematical and uh, uh, theoretical. So that rather than having to understand color science, a calibrator can uh, be faced with a screen that says, make the black bar, which is the measured measurement, uh, the same height as the goldenrod bar, which is the target, and then go on to the next step. So that uh, brightness is now uh, settable uh, programmatically with a color analyzer rather than having to be done painstakingly by eye. And uh, we're currently at work at closed loop calibration, which allows uh, you to essentially just push a button and say, uh, make green where green is supposed to be. So it's a software function that sounds like it's really simple for the integrator to use. It's trying to make it so that uh, the integrator can uh, not have to do a massive amount of training and still yet have complete control over exactly how the display's results come out. All right, thank you, L.A. Hi, we're here with Jeff Murray from Sencor. Thanks, Jeff, for taking some time with CE Pro TV today. Oh, thanks uh, for inviting me. Tell us uh, what Sencor got in the booth uh, that dealers can look at and what's new from Sencor and, and is there any, what do they need to know to find out more information about Sencor products? Okay, uh, the newest things we've got here today are uh, uh, Media Pro 500. It's a new HDMI generator for audio and video and it's also an analyzer. Uh, it is uh, used for testing cables to generating test patterns to looking at HDMI formats. A common problem with the integrators and installers, this solves it. The Calman Advanced Software, that's another new product, and the Radiant series of video processors. That, in conjunction with our Media Pro, allows you to optimize many different displays, projectors, uh, everything out there. As they kind of alluded to, our products are used to correct video, make pristine video, and make things look right. Uh, if you'd like to get more information, uh, people can call 1-800-SENCOR, uh, 736-2673, or just visit our website at SENCOR.com. Now, I understand there was a big announcement about the uh, Cowman product. Absolutely. Yesterday, the Cowman product uh, won the Cedia CE Pro uh, Calibration Tool of the Year, and we were presented with a nice award, and uh, we're very happy and pleased with that, and I think it was well-deserved. Jeff, thanks for taking the time with CE Pro TV.